Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'm Jamie Barbas, and I serve as the project director for the new New York Bridge. This is one of the biggest active bridge projects in the nation, and the largest in the history of the New York State Thruway Authority. It's an honor to have Governor Cuomo with us here today. His leadership and vision has propelled this project forward from an idea to a reality. Before we get started, I'd like to recognize a few special guests with us. Congresswoman Nita Lowy, Senator Andrea Stewart-Cousins, Senator David Carlucci, Bill Finch, Executive Director of the New York State Thruway Authority, Eddie Doyle, President, Westchester Building Trades, Ross Pepe, President, Construction Industry Council of Westchester and Hudson Valley Incorporated, Paul Ryan, President, Westchester Putnam Central Labor Council, Louis Picani, President, Teamsters Local 456, Jack Sullivan, President, Teamsters Local 445, Mr. Terry Toll, CEO of Tappan Zee Constructors, and Mr. Rick Cotton, Special Counsel for Interagency Initiatives, Governor's Office. At the Governor's direction, the Thruway Authority has managed the project since 2013 with two fundamental objectives. First, open the bridge in 2018, and second, finish the bridge at or below the budgeted cost of $3.98 billion. We are proud to say today we are on track to achieve both of these goals, opening in 2018 and on budget. We are here celebrating a major milestone with the completion, the topping off of the eight main span towers on the new New York Bridge, with the final concrete pour on the last tower completed this week. This is a project using design-build construction contracting process, which Governor Cuomo has championed and brought to New York. It is a process in which the design builder is responsible for both the design and construction. It serves to incentivize the private sector to be creative on design and construction methods that speed project time, while providing the state with more assurance of cost certainty. I'd like to recognize Mr. Terry Toll, President of Tappan Zee Constructors, Constructors, as well as all the men and women who have been working hard day in and day out on this bridge. More than 6,300 people have worked more than 8 million hours on this project. As you can see, building this new bridge is a massive undertaking, but we're making rapid progress. As I mentioned, we're here celebrating the topping off of the main span towers. Approximately 90% of support structures, including the fabrication and placement of steel girders, assemblies and concrete piers have been completed. The driving of all river piles, which serve as the foundation of the bridge, have been completed, with the final river pile having been placed in last October. More than 1,000 piles have been installed to date, and if laid end to end, the piles would stretch for 50 miles. We have installed more than 3,000 roadway panels on the bridge, totaling close to three and a half miles. Our most famous crane, the iLift New York Super Crane, has been hard at work setting that steel. The Super Crane is capable of lifting the equivalent of 12 Statues of Liberty at once and will help the demolition of the existing Tappan Zee Bridge. We have anchored and tensioned nearly one-third of the state cables for the main span. In total, 192 state cables utilizing more than 700 miles of steel strands will connect the towers to the roadway. <coughs> In all, we have installed approximately 220 million pounds of steel. We are using 300,000 cubic yards of concrete. That's enough to build a sidewalk from here to Key West, Florida. More than two-thirds of that total has been produced on-site by our floating concrete batch plants. This is really a remarkable undertaking, and there are more achievements yet to come. The new New York Bridge is a critically important crossing for residents and businesses, not just in the Hudson Valley, not just in New York, but across the Northeast. The Tappan Zee Bridge is a vital thoroughfare for more than 140,000 vehicles each day. The scale of this project and its iconic design have been nationally recognized. 
President Obama put the bridge at the top of the list of critical infrastructure priority projects. Of course, none of this would have been possible with the leadership and the visit, a vision of Governor Cuomo. So thank you again, Governor, for making transportation infrastructure a priority. We're honoring the new New York Bridge project. We're honored that it can serve as a model for others and that we are truly building a bridge for the future. Now, please join me in welcoming New York's very own Congresswoman Nita Lowy. Thank you. Good morning, and what a delight it is for me to be here at this bridge. Some of us go back and forth over this bridge at least five or six times a day, and I can't wait till this new bridge is completed. Today is a symbol of the incredible work that can be achieved when government truly performs for the people it is meant to serve. Achieving the unthinkable requires having a bold vision and remaining steadfast in your commitment to that vision. That is how we create and sustain momentum and attain progress for the ideas and projects we believe in. By the looks of it, and this milestone celebration, is all the evidence we need New York is leading the nation forward with this as its guiding mantra. From reimagining LaGuardia Airport to the new New York Bridge, Governor Cuomo has made unprecedented infrastructure transformations the hallmark of his administration, setting an example for the rest of the nation. As a member of the House Appropriations Committee, I've worked with our federal partners to ensure that we invest in critical infrastructure, improving not just our roads and bridges, but building transportation arteries worthy of our great nation. Under Governor Cuomo's visionary leadership, New York, in many ways is the crown jewel of bold progress, achieving what someone said was impossible. Now, what we are all so proud of, and we have here all our colleagues, many of our colleagues in state government, many of the workers are represented by the people who are here today. And for me, and for all the people who were gathered and many who up, wake, up, wake up every day to get a job done, this will create 7,700 full-time jobs, $2 billion in personal, personal, and this is what is so important to me. It's all the individuals who will benefit. So in personal income, we can be very proud of what this bridge is contributing to our community. So it's an honor for me. I'm getting used to introducing Governor Cuomo because he's doing good things every week and his leadership has propelled this project forward from an idea to reality. And I truly mean this because for years and years, some of us were going to meetings more meetings. Should it be a bridge? Should it be a tunnel? Should it be a tunnel here or a bridge there? Well, Governor Cuomo's action, his commitment, his enthusiasm and determination has made this project a reality. So I'm delighted to be here and I look forward to driving back and forth over this bridge when it's completed, which will be very soon. I'm pleased, honored to introduce to you my friend, Governor Cuomo. Thank you very much. What a beautiful day. It's a pleasure to be here with so many of my colleagues from state government, from labor, the men and women who are building this bridge every day. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Congresswoman Nita Lowy, I'm going to be brief because it's cold and I asked uh, Nita Lowy if she would lend me her scarf because I didn't have a jacket. She brought us billions of dollars from Washington for the bridge, but she wouldn't lend me her scarf. I just want you to know. 
uh, and to Nidaloi, uh, without whom this bridge would not be built. Without the federal funds that she secured, we wouldn't be here today. So big round of applause for Congresswoman Nidaloi. You know, the, we're here to celebrate the capping off of the mainstays, which is really just a celebration of the progress that this bridge has made in an, in an incredibly short period of time under very difficult circumstances. Uh, and these, this bridge has really captured the imagination of people. I can't tell you how many people who drive across the old Tappan Zee and have been watching this come up to me and talk about it. And you can see in their eyes and their face that they are really captivated by it. The size of it, the power of it, the magnitude of it. And they all say something slightly different. It means something a little different to different people. They see different images, different memories, different recollections. Let me tell you what I see when you look at this bridge and the old bridge, because right now we have two structures. I look at that old bridge and I think of 20 years of broken promises. I think of politician after politician getting up and saying, don't worry, we're going to replace that Tappan Zee because it's old and it's dangerous and it's not cost effective. And then nothing happened. And then another politician comes and says, we're going to replace that Tappan Zee and nothing happened. And that went on year after year after year and there were meetings and discussions and nothing happened. And I look at that old bridge and I see broken promises. I see a loss of ability to get things done. Every time I drove over that bridge and you went over one of those metal plates, remember the metal plates that were on the old Tappan Zee Bridge to cover the hole? Every time I heard those plates shake, I said, this is not the way it's supposed to be. We're better than this. Why can't we get it done? It's not what New York is all about. And that went on for many, many years little politicians squabbling about what it should be, no decision, no leadership, failure after failure. And then right next to the old bridge, you see this new New York bridge rising from nothing, almost overnight with progress that is almost daily. The br this bridge says the exact opposite. This bridge says when you reject the naysayers, when you reject the doubt, when you reject the insecurity, when you find the confidence and you find the, conf the, the commonality and you take all that negative energy and you turn it into positive energy, there is nothing that you can't do. You find that confidence and you find that spot of cooperation and you turn that energy positive and the sky is the limit. And look at what we have done off the propulsion of this bridge. Now we're going to build a new LaGuardia Airport. Why? Because it's the same thing as the old bridge. It was 20 years of failure, LaGuardia. And then we're going to restore Penn Station. Why? Because it's the same thing. It was 20 years of failure. We're going to redo the Long Island Railroad. We're going to build Penn Farley. We're going to redo John F. Kennedy. We're redoing the Thruway Authority. We're putting electronic tolling in all the downstate MTA and TBTA bridges and tunnels. Why? Because we believe we can. Because we are New York. And we remember the confidence that built New York in the first place. Look down the river. Every building, every tunnel, every bridge, bigger and better than the last one. And New York was founded on a confidence where we said we can do it when everybody else said they can't. And that's what this bridge stands for. President of the United States put a picture of this bridge on the cover of his annual budget that he submitted to all of Congress. This was the picture of American aspiration. And it's a New York reality. And it's New York leading the way once again. Now, it wasn't easy. It was hard. 
It's always hard when you're trying to do what hasn't been done before. But when you have people like the leadership of the Thruway Authority and Nita Lowy and Andrea Stewart Cousins and David Carlucci and Rick Moses Cotton and Larry Schwartz and they all come together and they dedicate themselves and they refuse to take no for an answer, there is nothing we can't do. New York State leads the way once again for this nation. And I'm proud to be part of it. Congratulations to all the people who work on this project, especially the men and women who work on it every day. Keep going. Let's finish this bridge. We'll take down the old one. And let's say to America, anything is possible when you remember what made us great in the first place. Thank you and God bless you. I'd like to thank everybody for assembling today, and this concludes our program. Thank you very much, and have a great day.